Hi, I'm Dr. Asha Williams, a chemical engineer and researcher at Cornell University. Let's talk COVID-19 mRNA vaccines. You're probably familiar with inactivated vaccines like flu shots that expose your body to the dead virus so your immune system can learn how to fight the live virus in the future. Or live vaccines like measles, where the body is exposed to a virus that is too weak to cause disease, but teaches your immune system how to fight off the non-weakened version. But after years of research, we've learned that you actually don't need the entire virus to make a vaccine. One part of it is often good enough, and sometimes even better. COVID-19 mRNA vaccines only expose the body to the spike protein found on the surface of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. This protein by itself does not cause disease. Instead of the long process of making and purifying the coronavirus spike protein in the lab to later inject, messenger RNA or mRNA is used to simply teach cells in the body how to make the spike protein. mRNA is also easy to produce, so this vaccine can be very quickly manufactured for testing. The COVID-19 mRNA vaccine is injected into your upper arm muscle with the mRNA packed into a tiny droplet of fat. This protects the mRNA from being broken down by the body and helps it get picked up by cells in the muscle. All of our cells contain protein-making factories called ribosomes. And the mRNA from the COVID-19 vaccine provides the ribosome with a recipe for making small, harmless pieces of the spike protein. Luckily, the ribosome does not care where this mRNA comes from and assembles the protein without question. Once the spike protein is made, your cell destroys the mRNA from the vaccine, leaving no permanent trace. It does not affect or interact with your DNA. The mRNA vaccine becomes a lot like regular vaccines at this point. The spike protein moves to the surface of the cell where the immune system recognizes that it's not supposed to be there and responds to get rid of it. In the process, your body learns how to identify and defeat the SARS-CoV-2 virus if it ever comes around in the future. Clinical trial data show that mRNA vaccines appear to be highly effective in preventing COVID-19, though details on transmission are still being investigated. It is possible to get infected even after getting the vaccine, but if you do get infected, you will have fewer copies of the virus in your body and be more likely to experience milder symptoms than someone who has not been vaccinated.